Hello, everybody. We Rabbit here, and welcome back to our LP of Persona 3 Portable. In the previous part, we were doing some interactions and stuff, got very close to maxing out. I believe it was the little girl, Maiko. I think she's level nine, as well as the businessman, President Tanaka. He's also level nine. And then we created Alice, which makes me excited. I really like her as a persona. She's really fun. Hopefully, we get to, I get to share that sometime in the future. And besides that, we're just going to dive in because it's our last day of break, I guess. So that's cool. Uh, Terrific is here, of course. Say hello, Terrific. Yo! What's going on, YouTube? Your boy Terrific is still here. And um, I, unfortunately, I'm here, but I guess Chihiro is not here because we Rabbit maxed her out and decided, ah, eh, we're done with her. Yeah, we're done with her. She's useless to us. <laughs> no. <laughs> Time to move on to everybody else. Nice. All right, so getting started, this is today's the, uh, autumnal equinox. There's no school. It seems like there will be a day-long film festival today. Maybe you should invite someone from the dorm to go with you. Mm -hmm. Ah, I wonder, what, I wonder if we should. All right, it says your phone is ringing. It's Yukari. Do you have a minute? I know we've been on a, on a bit of a Yukari bender or whatever, but we're actually going to ignore her. Sorry, I'm busy. Oh, oh sorry. I guess I'll talk to you later then. Aw, oh, she said. Good. Oh, I'm gonna call. Your phone is ringing. This is hello. This is K Suke. Do you have a time to talk right now? Uh, no, I'm fresh. I'm busy. Oh, sorry. I'll see you at school then. He's also disappointed. Mm. All right. Wait, so, so who are we gonna go see? You denied the two people that tried to call us. Interesting. Uh, no one actually. <laughs> We're actually doing something totally different, which is actually kind of funny. Okay. Uh, so first we're gonna go. Actually, I can just check. I might already have it. I'm so dumb. Uh, let's see. Do I have the right one? Actually, we do have it already. Never mind. But while we're, while we're here, if you remember, we have some stuff to do when it comes to our uh money. Uh, so it says for some reason we just got a delivery of a bunch of mysterious dolls. You know anything about this? It says your face says you do. Just take them. So we got, some, oh, those are good. Humunculus, remember those ones that take a blow for you? We got 10 yeah. of them. That's really good. He says, I don't yeah. have that much, but you should be able to find what you need. All right. So we have a lot of stuff to sell. Because I think basically we already have all the best stuff equipped, I think. Okay. Oh, yeah, we do. So we have a lot of stuff to sell. So as we sell all this crap, I was going to say that this is going to date the video a bit, but that ah, is what it is. Uh, the Nintendo Direct came out very recently as of recording this. And I'm pretty sure you didn't check it out, did you? You, you? you usually don't really check that stuff out, right? Yeah, no, I've been busy all day. I haven't watched it. Uh, yeah, it was pretty interesting. Um, it wasn't as good, I would say, as the one where they announced, like, the new Mario Wonder game and all that. Mm -hmm. Wasn't as good as that one, but it was still pretty cool. Basically, they showed off the DLC for Splatoon, um, what's it called? Splatoon 3? Like, the yeah. second wave of DLC. Even though I'm not really a Splatoon person, it looked pretty cool on it. Like, it yeah. seems like they always have, do, like, a really good job with their DLC, so that was pretty cool. Um, they showed that off. Then, um, oh, first of all, there had been a rumor. I'll start there. There had been a rumor that there was going to be a direct, and people were expecting it because there's almost always one in September. So that came true, and people had said that there was kind of like a, a rumor, further rumor, that they were going to talk about something F-Zero related and something Donkey Kong related. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people thought the Donkey Kong thing might be a new Donkey Kong 3D game, because it's been forever since they've you know made like a new Donkey Kong game. And so that was a rumor that was going to be that. And as for F-Zero... People didn't know what to expect because they've ignored F Zero for a long time. So it's yeah. like, who knows what they'll do, right? Okay. Uh, so after the DLC for Splatoon, they ended up showing that the Donkey Kong game, unfortunately, was not a new like 3D Donkey Kong, like a platform or anything. It was a new Mario versus Donkey Kong, the one where they use like little toys and stuff. Uh huh. So it was that. So. Still cool, I guess, but it was a bit disappointing. That's like, ah, we all wanted it to be like a, a, a 3D Donkey Kong. That would have been fun. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I was a bit disappointed. Oh, this is really good. Let's see. 
Yeah, this is really good. Look at that. It, it, it increases my attack by like 100. Oh, wow. So I'm going to get that. Uh, so like I said, a little bit disappointing, but it's what it is. It wasn't that bad, I guess. And then the other thing that they announced after that, that was really big, is that they had said there was going to be a Princess Peach game. You know, <laughs> a rogue blessed by a Pope. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, that's it was gonna be a Princess Peach game or whatever. And people were like, ooh, that's really cool, you know, like, but what's it called? What's it about? That sort of stuff, because they hadn't really uh, revealed anything. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, they finally said that uh yeah, it's called Princess Peach Showtime. And it's gonna be really cool where um she's gonna have like all sorts of like different like little costumes she can wear. And yeah. the little costumes are gonna give her like different <clears throat> powers. So there's one where she like becomes like a like a sword person. There's one where she becomes like a, a chef. One where she becomes a martial artist. One where she becomes a detective. And so like different parts of like the little like museum I guess she's in, or I don't like, really know what you would call it. Mm -hmm. uh, she'll be using her different like abilities, which is really cool. So that was really fun. And um yeah, that was really cool. Then they showed more of Mario RPG, which is really cool. They showed a bunch of ports that are coming, like the Tomb Raider 1 through 3. Um, uh, I don't know, there's all sorts of stuff, right? And then uh, they showed that there's going to be more characters for uh, Mario Kart. It's the uh -huh. last wave of DLC. And basically, they're going to add Funky Kong, Diddy Kong, Pauline and Toadette, no, Peachette, which is pretty cool. Okay. And then finally, the last thing that they showed that was really cool, it was like the last thing to close out the show. Uh, like I said, that's a pretty cool announcement here and there. You know, you can go check it out yourself or I know me and Legend of Drama will probably talk about it on the podcast in detail. Uh, they closed off by talking about, they're gonna make a, it looks like a remake of Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Really? Which people have been wanting a like port or remake or whatever of that game since forever. And the fact that it looks so good, and people thought that, you know, since the town's gone like in a kind of weird direction, they thought like we would never hear more about this game or see more in that style. Yeah. And so they're bringing it 2024, like next year. Nice. So Nintendo has really surprised people because they're bringing back Super Mario RPG, which mm -hmm. looked like they were never bringing that back. And they're bringing back, um, what was it called? Um, they're bringing back um, uh, Thousand Year Door. So that's really cool. Yeah. So yeah, people are really surprised, really pleasant surprise. So that's exciting. And oh, I think this is a new feature. It's like a dimmer because of the time of day. Well, let me go fix that. If not, oh. our our uh, footage look kind of kind of weird. So yeah, just give us I one like second. <laughs> Yeah, I get it. So like if you're playing like late night, so like the blue light doesn't like screw up your eyes. I, I get mm -hmm. it. I, I do have it on my actual PC, but here it's kind of awkward. Let me go turn that off. Give us one second, guys. All right, and we're back, guys. Sorry, that's like a new feature. I updated my um, Xbox recently, and that was like a new feature they added where you can have like a night mode thing. And I don't know, even though I think it's useful, uh, it's kind of weird for our footage because it makes it all like dark and crap. So yeah, I just went and turned that off real quick. So we're good. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'm um, just saying the director's really cool. I'm excited, really cool stuff. But yeah, if you guys want more information, uh, check out the latest podcast episode because we're pretty sure me and Legend Jonathan, we're going to go really into detail on that. So check it out, you know? All right, that aside, back to the game. Michael says, hey, come on, let's play on the jungle gym. Then the seesaw, kick the can, we can play them all. And if you remember, this is going to be the last interaction. So let's see what happens. She says, uh, you played with Michael for a while. Phew, I'm tired. We played enough for you to remember me, right? Don't forget. All right, ellipses. She says, Michael seems sad, but she's smiling. It says, I'm leaving today. And dad said, even though we're far away, we'll still fa we're still family. I think that should go for friends like you and me too. So I don't have to be sad. I think family is important. Do you think I'll have a family of my own one day? <laughs> I'm not so sure. Does you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I, don't know, I bet you will. It makes sense, you know. She's like, I sure will. She's all happy. No. Ah, uh, she's like, so, um, when I'm grown up, can we be a mom and dad together? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, um, what should we say? 
What do you say, think, Oh, I'll, I'll have to think about it. All right. I'll have to think about it. And she's like, but you must. We're supposed to get married someday. Michael seems disappointed. Oh, he disappointed the little girl. He just seems, she seems disappointed. Good. She's like, keep this, okay? I made it just for you. Hey, she gets a little bead ring. That's cute. Oh. It says, because one day we'll be trading vows, right? Damn. Okay. She's blushing. Apparently, Mike would just propose to you. There we go. Uh, That's how we maxed it out. All right. All right. So there we go. If, if uh, our, our uh, if anything goes wrong with any of our other romances, we have a backup plan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. So there we go. It's maxed out. All right. There we go. So we're done with the hangman. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. The innermost power of the hangman arcana hath been set free. We bestow upon the ability to uh, create Atis, the ultimate form of the hangman arcana. And as we just unlocked, you know, that five way thing, usually to get the uh, ultimate of each. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, you have to do the five way thing. So there you go. Uh, okay. uh, it says the girl at the shrine social link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the girl at the shrine social link. All right, there we go. <laughs> Should we grab it as far as a bond that cannot be broken? Nice. All right, there we go. I'm just repeating it again. Ah, uh, she's like, close your eyes, okay? Oh, oh, what's happening? Ah, oh, she kissed her cheek softly. That's cute. Oh. She's like, hee hee, don't get cold feet. So I'll see you. You can't forget me, though. And off she ran. Uh, so she ran very quickly so as to hide her sadness. Oh, that's actually pretty sad to think about it. And it ends there. Hey. All right. So I'm going to give you a little uh, insider thing. So remember Good. how there's, I told you, there's a whole other um, route you can do, right? The, the female route? Yes. So the difference, uh, as you can kind of see from the male route, is that basically... There's all of these girls you can romance, including people on your team, right? Okay. Uh, so if you do the female route, eh, some of them are the same, if they're not romantic. But the ones that are, are kind of romantic in nature, they're different. So for instance, instead of romancing, let's say, Fuka or Yukari, instead yes. it would be Akihiko or it would be Shinji up there, right? Yeah, yeah. Another thing that's different is that for the little girl, uh, instead of her like proposing to you and oh don't forget about me and all that stuff yeah. she still like really wants you to not forget her and stuff okay. this really gets weird though instead at the end her dad shows up and he kind of oh. goes like you should like uh like she seems to really like you you should like consider becoming her mom in the future oh interesting so like the dad kind of like is interested in you which is kind of awkward <laughs> like what the hell <laughs> yeah that's a little weird <laughs> but i don't know i mean at least i kind of get it because it's like oh this outsider has you know really formed a bond with you know my daughter and like she seems to really like her so i don't know you know mom material i, mean, I guess it's still weird yeah. though yeah but at least i can kind of get it and it's not like he's saying like marry me right now I guess he kind of means like maybe in the future, but yeah, it kind of goes a weird direction in the girl one. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and one other thing. So yeah, you can um, you know, you can uh, romance um, Akihiko. You can romance Shinjiro. Uh, you can't romance Junpei because he's still interested in Shijori. Uh, but you can romance Ken. <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, so yeah, that's kind of a weird one too because uh. A little bit of an age difference there, you know? But uh, yeah, yeah, you can romance yeah. Ken. So that's kind of interesting. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I just thought I'd throw it out there. That, yeah, in, in the girls' route, um, yeah, it gets a little bit different. <laughs> interesting. That's that's something. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, so this is kind of awkward. There's not really anything to do in the evenings anymore because we don't need to study. There's nobody to max out. Yeah. So... Uh, we made him sick. That's funny. Uh, let's see if we can walk Kuromaru, I guess. So he's not in the mood to walk. So in order to not waste time, uh, the only other thing I can think of, I guess, so at least we do something with our evening, because it's kind of awkward now. There's not really anything to do. Yeah. Oh, actually, hold on. I just remembered a little Easter egg sort of thing. Let's see if the person is here, actually. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, I think this is him. 
A man in his 30s is drinking by himself. Man drinking alone, hmm? Looking for someone to chat with? All right, tell me, have you ever had a dream where you're falling? Ah, uh, yes. Really? I wonder if it's true about the rumor that if you don't wake up before you hit bottom, you die. Forget it, sorry, shouldn't have brought it up. I've been having the weirdest dreams lately. Jeez, what's wrong with me? Why don't you head on home instead of wandering around a place like this? Well, you're a kid. I always wanted to see what this kind of place was like when I was your age too. Ha ha. Did that sound familiar to you? Um... Weird dreams. If you fall, you die. Oh, crap. Yes. Um, shit. What was the name of it? Ah, Catherine. what's the name of it? Yes. Yeah, Catherine. So That's funny. Because um, this game and Catherine came out around the same time, I believe, uh, Vincent has a little cameo in this game. So this oh, guy is drinking by cool. himself. It's supposed to be Vincent. Like, they never actually call him Vincent, but it's a little cameo. It's like a little reference to him. I mean, he looks like Vincent to me. Yeah, and then, um, obviously because we're using, um, we're playing this one, it's more of a visual novel. If you play the actual... Um, you know, the original game where you can actually see like the models and stuff and like the little uh, window pops up when you're talking to him. It's yeah. literally a guy that looks just like Vincent. That That is great. I wonder how this fits in the, like I get that it's just a cameo, so it's not necessarily canon per se, but it would be interesting like how this fits with the Catherine timeline. Yeah, apparently it doesn't. Like I said, it's just supposed to be like a, yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, we're gonna, if I remember, we're gonna keep coming and talking to him because I think he has different dialogue. And okay. that'll be interesting to see, you know? Uh, all right, so there's not really much to do. Let's um, make some money, I guess. Might as well. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So let's work so we get some money at least. That's all I was thinking. That we don't want to totally waste our time. Yeah. And let's see. <laughs> a drunken businessman came in and picked a fight with you, but you did your best to deal with him. Your courage doesn't create. That's interesting. So yeah, we got 2,500 for that. It's small time, but hey, at least we're not wasting our time on nothing, right? So there you go. Yeah. All right. So yeah, a little Vincent cameo is pretty fun, huh? I'm glad I remembered. Yeah, no, I like it. I, I'm really glad I remembered. That's, that's really fun. Uh, Fuka says, good morning. It feels like fall. It feels like fall. What? Oh, I get it. I guess she means like the, the temperature is different or something. Uh, it says, okay. feels like fall since the typhoon passed, doesn't it? Ah, I hope the fighting ends before winter comes. Uh, I'm sure it will. I hope so. Alrighty. Ooh, she says, uh, a lot of people are concerned about stress today. Believe it or not, crying can relieve stress. The tension is washed away with all the tears. But if the root cause of the stress isn't addressed, it'll become a vicious cycle. By the way, does anyone here know the number one cause of stress? Yeah, we don't need to do this anymore. We're just gonna doze. We're gonna ignore. We're gonna doze <laughs> off. Oh, there funny. you go. Perfect. Hey, we're great now. Good. Yeah, no, that's important anymore. So we're good. <laughs> uh, all right. So, um, what's her name? Uh, future uh, Yukari says. All right, everyone, quiet down. Ahem. There will be no classes this afternoon. However, that doesn't mean you'll be allowed to goof off. We all have to work together to clean up the displays and decorations for the school festival. All signed into three groups for the cleanup. The first group will go to the science lab. Your leader will be. Yeah, so we have to clean up after the school festival that we never had. That's pretty lame. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're in the science room. It says you'll be cleaning with Kenji, Kazushi, and Yukari. So that's wait, a pretty wait, interesting. Wait. What's up? What, what, what the heck were these adults doing all day? Because the, the typhoon lasted for three days. Well, remember, nobody could like really leave. Everyone was probably just staying inside, I guess. Yeah, that's just something for kids. The adults could have left. Yeah, they're yeah. just lazy. You know, they just made the kids do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, interesting little group. Kenji, y y uh, Kazushi, and Yukari. Hmm. So he says, come on, let's hurry up and get this over with. And he's like, yeah. Yep. You begin cleaning up with everyone. Hey, it is the photography club's display. Aren't these pictures from the big competition? Look, Chweeb, you're in this one. Whoa, isn't this the guy who took first? Yeah, isn't the, isn't the guy who took first kind of dark looking? He looks like he got a bad suntan or something. And that's Mamoru. He's crazy strong. Hey, they're mentioning our, our rival, the guy that eats a lot. 
Yeah, yeah. Now, of course, I'll beat him one. And dude, I think you're already taking the sweatiness competition. I've never seen you in the school uniform before. And I guess juries are better for stuff like this, but still. That's just like, can you, hey, can you guys jabber all you want, but work while you talk. At this rate, we'll be here all day. And it says, your car you piped up, sounding annoyed. And he's like, oh, sorry. So hey, you're not like, wh what do you mean? All right. And Jimba says, I brought the stuff, nail puller, tape, and, and then, hey, I just showed up. As for the drill, I have one built in. So yeah, so they're part of the group, apparently. It says, it seems that they had gone to get the cleaning supplies. Cool, thanks, man. Wait, hang on. Did you forget the popping stuff? Popping stuff? Oh, the bubble wrap. Uh, good call, Kenji. Go get it. You know where they keep all the stuff, right? Well, yeah, but you're the one who forgot it. Huh? Are you sure? You really don't want to go? That place is like a paradise, you know that? Some fine chicas there would be just your type. <laughs> wow. And then Kenji's like, wait, are you serious? Be right back, guys. <laughs> and yeah, like, I'd fall for that dumbass. What kind of supply room is stocked with hot babes? So yeah, so everyone's just, I don't know, they're freaking weird-ass interactions. So, I mean, it's a good thing we get along with each person individually, because that's the group they seem to hate each other. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, she's like, ahem, I believe I asked you all to hurry it up so we can go home. Uh, uh sorry, Yukatan. She's like a pissed off samurai. I heard of that. Jeez, are you stupid or something? More like stupid, I think. Hey, there we go. Maybe they're going to bond uh, over how much they think Jim, uh, Jimbei's stupid. Nice. And then deja vu. He's all like, see, ah, I'll, go get, I'll go to the supply room later. And he's like, but yeah, it's a real shame the school festival fell through. There were so many cool events I was looking forward to, like a stand-up comedy show. They said it was going to be open mics. So I was planning on trying out. Well, really? With who? And like, you. Dang. Wait a sec. You got to let me in on plans like that. Dude, it was just a joke. It was going to be Kazuchi. Who, me? Hell no. Jeez, you guys are harsh. Can't any of you take a joke? Should we then? Uh... You know what? Yeah, bring it on. Now that's the spirit. You want to give it a little try right here? Oh, God. We're having a little impromptu comedy stand-up thing. Because your classmates and your cleanup group have gathered. Ahem, ahem. Hello out there, everyone. We're the famous comedy duo Kenji Tamochika. Uh, watch silently. Hey, wait a second, didn't you notice I left you out? You should have said something like, that's no duo, or I have to be Kenji Tomochika too. Well, whatever, the school festival is almost here. <laughs> watch silently, just make it all awkward for him. <laughs> God, no more of the silent treatment. Well, Chewie might not say much, but be nice to him, everyone. He keeps his hands in his pockets all the time, but it's not because he's a delinquent. You have your reasons, right? I love pockets. <laughs> You're doing it for your pockets? Are there such things as good and bad pockets? Well, I think that went pretty good considering we didn't rehearse. I don't know. I think that was pretty stupid, honestly. Yeah, that, that was probably the worst thing I've ever heard. I mean, the, 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 the funny part was where we like just were silent and it embarrassed him. I thought that was pretty good. Yeah. He's like, man, what a waste. Your classmates returned to their stations after the stand-up routine was over. They were probably super disappointed. They were probably like, that was lame. <laughs> uh, he's like, hey, you know what else is a waste? We never got to see Yukari-san in her maid outfit. And she's like, huh? Uh, so we're got out about that. I'm relieved it never happened. But I get, I bet lots of guys are really disappointed, right, Kazuchi? He's like, huh? Really? Wait, what's a maid? What? What? <laughs> he's like, a pure soul. Oh, it's something that guys like Junpei dream about. And she's like, Junpei. And he's like, wait a second, what's that look for? You act like I did something. And she's all like, Junpei on. You gotta be kidding, right? You too, I guess. And then some random student, excuse me, is Yukari san here? Oh, oh, hey, Yuko san showed up now. What? Everyone's here. Oh, Yuko san, what's up? Hey, that tent on the school grounds. Is it okay if you put it away in the archery club room? Oh, yeah, that's fine. It belongs to us anyway. Hey, don't worry about it. Our club will take care of it. Oh, it's no trouble. Our class just happens to be in charge of the grounds. We'll go put it away now. Thanks. See you. And she's like, ah. Yuko came straight to you. Oh, my. This <laughs> is Shaweeb Kun. Are you feeling better? You had a fever, right? I heard you were laid up in bed all through break. Are you okay now? And he's like, yeah, just look at him. He's fine. Yeah, good point. Well, I'm glad to hear it. 
Whoa, you're here too, Kaz. You better get to work. And Ox like you has got to pull his weight. And he's like, shut up. Isn't it time you got back to the grounds? Yeah, yeah, I know. I haven't seen him in a while, so give us a minute. Oh, and Yukari's like questioning. She's like, wait a minute. What's happening here? Uh huh. Oh, crap. Don't tell me. Chuweeb. Junpei whispered to you in a hurry. Oh, no. <laughs> Too much showing up. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. This is getting out of hand. And she goes, like, excuse me. I'm sorry. Um, if you happen to have any masking tape, I, I need to borrow it some if. And she's like, oh, Chuweeb son. I'm so glad to see you. I'm in charge of the classroom next door, but we're out of masking tape. I was nervous about asking since I knew upperclassmen were in charge of this room. But it's a relief to see you here, Chuweeb san Uh oh. Yuko's oh. like staring. Yukari's staring. The atmosphere is growing oppressive. Um, I saw Material Senpai a moment ago, and she said, she said Chuweeb san had been sick in bed all this time. Did you catch a cold? Oh, you shouldn't overstrain yourself. If you're not feeling well, don't feel like you have to- Oh, <laughs> I just don't have to come to student council. Dude, when was the last time we went to student council? <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, months ago? <laughs> yeah, no, the, the last time we talked to her. <laughs> Damn. Uh, but if I'm sad that I can't walk home with you for now... <laughs> Junpei's like, uh, he's like, <laughs> he's like, oh, something's happening. He knows something's happening. He knows something's happening. <laughs> <laughs> the room is turning ugly. Ha, huh, wait, does that mean what's going? Uh, whoa, that display over there looks like it could fall off any moment now. All right, Jupy's being a wingman. I appreciate it. Nice. Someone's got to get hurt if we don't fix it right now. Like right now. Yukaton, come on and give me a hand. I'll take it down if you hold it in place. Huh? Uh, okay, gotcha. So he distracted her successfully. All right, come on. Somebody else will be a wingman, please. Junpei left with Yukari. So, uh, what were we talking about? Oh, um, oh yeah, man, I almost forgot. There was something I had to tell the guys in our club. Hey, Yuko, can you go tell them for me the, the messages for our next practice? Um, there will be no towels allowed. Huh? No towels? Isn't that going to make things harder? Uh, just, just tell them. It's, it's special training. Come on, move it. Man, like, I really care. All right. Yuko left. All right. Kaz is being a, uh, he's being a bro. I appreciate that as well. Nice, nice. Uh, now Kenji's turn. He's like, uh, we're all out of masking tape. Sorry, there's no more here. Haha. <laughs> uh, in our classroom, I have some, like, next door, maybe. Uh, oh, I, I see. I'm sorry. Well, then. All right, so he got her, we got rid of her successfully. She here left as well. Oh, boy. Huh, I guess it's a good thing the school festival was cancelled. You probably would have been mauled no matter who you picked to go with. The cleanup ended peacefully. Wow, that turned very interesting. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it did. Oh, I love it. That was actually really interesting. Alrighty then. So how many girls, Yuko, Chihiro, and Yukari were all uh, giving us the stink guy? Yeah, I think so. Alrighty. I mean, it. you know what? Probably well-deserved. Man, I don't know if you remember, but I mentioned, like, uh, I think it was, like, months ago, like, man, you're flirting with all these women. They're going to, like, what happens if it, you know, comes back to bite you? And then they're like, oh, well, keep that in mind. So I guess now we know. We almost got called. Yep. So, yeah, there we go. All right, guys, this is where we're going to stop for now. If you guys like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you, Trifford, for being here. Yeah, man, not a problem. Alrighty, and there you have it, guys. Um, yeah, that was, that was uh, you know, disaster averted. But as we continue, and as we keep forming some of these relationships, because some of them aren't even maxed out yet, let's see what happens, I guess, huh? That'll be interesting. Yep. But yeah, guys, uh, next time we'll pick up where we left off. We'll see what else there is to do. I mean, we haven't even, like, done the next full moon yet. Still 10 days away, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah. So, hope you guys are excited. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.